What's up YouTube, it's Cass from Sports Debunked. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about giving a deep dive into if Colby Covington or can Colby Covington beat Leon Edwards? As we all know, Kamar Usman just lost for the second time against Leon Edwards this past Saturday in the 0-2 in the UK. Leon Edwards beat him, in my opinion, four rounds to one. And Dana White confirmed in the post-fight press conference that Leon Edwards is gonna be fighting Colby Covington. Uh, guys, Colby Covington, one, does not deserve this fight. And two, I do think he's going to put on a better performance than Kamar Usman did in the sec in this third fight that just passed. But Leon Edwards, to me, proved a lot. And I think he's going to beat Colby Covington pretty easily. Now, who would I like to win this fight? Honestly, I'm a Colby Covington fan at heart. I do think, you know, him being champion creates more stories and just makes the sport more interesting. But... What I've been seeing from Leon Edwards these past two fights, really, is that his fight IQ is up there with the best, with John Jones, Alexander Volkanovsky, uh, Henry Cejudo. His ability to just make the right reads when it needs to be made is on point like no other. So right here, I'm looking at Colby Covington's record on SureDog. And I know this is what a lot of people get Colby Covington shit for, is that he's never fought a true top five ranked opponent. You know, like in their prime and stuff. And I'm, I'm looking at it. You know, he he beat Jorge Masvidal pretty easily. He got rocked, but he beat him. He lost to Kamara Usman in the second fight. I thought that fight should have been a tie. If not, maybe Colby, just maybe. Before that, he beat a washed Woodley. Okay. Then he got TKO'd by Usman in the fifth round. That fight was 2-2 going to the fifth that Usman capitalized. And then before that, he beat a, you know, out of prime Robbie Lawler. RDA at welterweight. RDA has some of his be better work is at 155. He beat Damian Maya, uh, Brian Barbarana, and these are all like by decision. So what I'm trying to get at here is that Colby Covington is not, you know, the best, you know, welterweight fighter that's you know proven it, like through like you know his history with fights. But at the same time, in my opinion, him going all, pre pretty much ten rounds with Kamar Usman and winning. You know, a good amount of those rounds to me is what elevates him and makes him in a real, you know, talking conversation with these titles. For example, if Colby Covington, let's just say in the first fight with Usman, let's say it went down the way it did, and then the second fight he got smoked, he wouldn't be in this conversation. It's just that in those two fights, some people thought he won the second one. Some people thought he would have won the fifth one if the ref didn't do an early stoppage, but it is what it is. So that's the only reason I believe he has this talking point. But going to Leon Edwards, it just his IQ is above anybody else's right now. He, bro, not above everybody else's, like Volkanovski, John Jones, but he's up there with those guys. He made he fought the perfect fight this last Saturday in the O2. He was just getting Usman like scared, just throwing kicks nonstop. He was, you know, throwing those body kicks a lot very early. Then he started going to the legs a lot more. And here and there, he'd go high. He, honestly, he didn't even need to use punches, which he barely did. And towards like the end of the fifth, towards the fifth round, when uh, Leon Edwards kind of let loose with his hands a little bit. But one through four of those rounds, he wasn't really using his hands. And he was very effective with just his kicks. And that just mentally is what was, you know, very helpful for him and mentally draining for Usman because Usman was looking for these high kicks to block. And you could tell he was over-exaggerating his blocks towards the high kick because obviously what happened in the second fight. But what Leon Edwards did in that fight to me really proved that his IQ is unbelievable and he's still, in my opinion, a little bit underrated. His ability, Leon Edwards' ability to get up off the ground is amazing like i know usman you know his knees aren't the same his wrestling and just his overall you know skill and like dominance isn't the same but still to defend as many takedowns as he did against kamar usman and get up as quick as he did when he did get taken down was very impressive to me highly impressive do i think colby Covington right now probably has more effective wrestling because he's you know way he's more in his prime than kamar usman is yeah i do i do think you know colby Covington is going to pose some good threats you know, with his wrestling game. And Colby Covington, he does, in my opinion, chase submissions and chase finishes when he takes people down more than Kamar Usman instead of just keeping them down there. So just overall, what I'm trying to get at here is that this fight, I'm definitely going to watch it, of course. I'm highly interested. I don't think Colby deserves it, but I do think it's going to be a good fight. I, I'm going to pick Leon right now because he's hard to bet against. I would like Colby to win. For me, it's better for the sport. As a fan of Colby, it, it'd be cool. But... I think just Leon Edwards is 
you know, he just like entered his prime, like his peak of his prime right now. He's at an all-time confidence. He beat the best, the pound for pound, you know, guy that there was twice in a row, back to back. And right now he's looking pretty much unbeatable. I think the only guy that poses like the most threat to him is Hamza. And Hamza isn't even going to be fighting at welterweight no more. Hamza's more of a 185 guy now, apparently according to Dana White. You know, in welterweight, you still got Savkay Rachmanov. You still got Gilbert Burns. That guy's always a problem. You got Bilal Muhammad, the bully, who's on like a seven or eight fight win streak. He's no one to really sleep on. Uh, those are the guys off the top of my head that are posing like those real threats at welterweight. Of course, you had Islam call out Leon. I don't know how I feel about that fight. I'll make another video on that. But right now for the, the, the Leon versus Colby situation that's going on, I think that it's a fight that... No one's really asking for it, but no one's going to complain that we're getting it because we're all going to watch it and it's going to be hella entertaining. And Le Leon Edwards came out today on the MMA Hour and said, I'm not going to sign the contract if Colby Covington's on that paper. Like, he's not going to do it. I don't know how true that is. He might have to do it or they might just strip his ass. But I don't know. What do you guys think of this Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington fight? This is just a short little video of just my opinion on it and, like, how I think you know, like the stakes of it and like, do I think it should happen? Why not just my little like talk about it? Do you guys think it's going to actually happen? And if it does, who are you taking and how? And who would you like Leon Edwards to fight next if he were to win? And who would you like Colby Covington to fight next if he won? All right, guys, this is Cass from Sports Debunk. Take care.